Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special figure showcase and review we're going to be looking at the 1988 Target Master needle nose figure. Now what we're going to do with this video, we're going to have a detailed look at him in both his modes, help you decide how you want to display him. We'll have a quick look at his Target Masters, how they work and again how you can display them in both modes. Because this is a vintage figure, I'm going to point out things that you need to be aware of if you have to purchase one for yourself. And there's a sly little laugh there because typically the curse of my videos, and I say with a heavy heart, I've just broken this guy, but I'll show you what I did and I'll show you what to be aware of. We can also see how he looks and displays with the other Decepticon smaller Target Masters that were released at the time. We can also see how he compares size wise, because as I mentioned in the title, he's a smaller target master. So you can see how much smaller he is and indeed his target master partner is. And for those people who don't collect G1, and this means absolutely nothing to them, let's do a comparison with some figures that are out now, uh, just to give you an idea of his size. Now, yes, of course, unfortunately, I don't have the newer version of him. And this is, of course, the main reason for this video. Just to suppose a bit of an education on this very basic, but very, very good figure. So I've mentioned it's a vintage figure and the things to be aware of. And funnily enough, it's why I've only got one of these, whereas I've got two of all the others. It's this bit on the back. There you go. Um, this is what is always damaged. So what to look out for are, in fact, the other bits fell off. Now, there was only the one piece. Um, and yes, literally it snapped off because I just did a very quick transformation process before I went live with the video. And this is the most common thing that always is exactly that. And I don't even know why I went to move it, to be honest, because in the robot pictures, you don't even see it with it folded that way. You just see it hiding behind. But that is the most common thing. While we're here, we can have a look. Obviously, paint chippings isn't great. Sticker degradation isn't great. Um, and indeed, I suppose the screws, the screws get corroded very easy as well. But let's have a look at him. I'm going to transform him and we're going to do some good comparisons on here. Stickers obviously play a big part on here. Articulation wise, no movement in the head. The shoulders, they're quite robust, to be honest. They do go around to the side. They sort of move up and down, but it is mainly for transformation. No bicep movement. You could class a bit of wrist movement, but it is for transformation. The legs go out, but that's only for transformation. And you could also perhaps say there's a little tilt there. But again, it's for transformation purposes. It is as basic as you're going to get. So we've got the two target masters. We've got Sunbeam and Zigzag. Here is Sunbeam. And again, this is super, super basic. But it looks like we're getting the same sort of basicness in the other. Well, in the update, to be honest. So we can fold out the gun there. Now you can see there's a hole on the top. And what this means is you can actually get the other figure if you wanted to. Let's just transform him. Show you what he looks like. You could double these up twin target masters and you can as i say that's the idea of this it is a bit of fun and i suppose is it a five millimeter port let me have a look will it wow there you go so you can actually use and combine the newer figures with this as well um so let's quickly have a look at how he displays with these in this particular mode oh let's bring this out um for people who don't like gaps in their figures I'm so sorry, there's a huge gap there as well. Uh, but there you go, that's, that's I suppose how he can display. That's a terrible glare, sorry, in this particular mode. I'm gonna transform him now, and I'm gonna put this in a separate video as well. And I don't normally do these for the reasons which I've just shown you. We're gonna fold this down. We're gonna fold that fist in carefully, and then I was gonna say snap. I'm not gonna say snap at all. Um, I'm gonna use the word tuck tuck this into there i'm not using the word snap i don't dare use it and we're going to tuck this in there so that's quite snug which you can see we're going to fold the landing gear out we're going to fold the feet down and this should now slowly on them ratchets where i'm literally petrified <laughs> now to do anything with and yeah there you go i'm just you just gotta laugh haven't you let's be honest i've tucked that down to cover his head i'm gonna fold this over uh, my next toy hunt is obviously a needle nose and I'm going to pop that there. Um, that is where it would go. And unfortunately, I can't do this guy much justice now. There's the alternate mode. It's quite nice, to be honest. It's an F-16 XL variant of the F-16 Fighting Falcon. 
Uh, but the good thing, oh, there we go. Will it balance just for two seconds? There you go. That's to give you an idea of what it would look like. There's a good example there of corroded screws as well. Um, and of course, you can see we've got these tabs underneath. So you can do exactly that. Power up your jet. So how does he look and compare with the other smaller Target Masters? As I say, typically I've got two of these and these are all fine. So there is the all three alternate modes. You can see they're all nice and small. And again, with all their respective Target Masters. Let's do this. No, they're going to roll over. That's no good. Right, let's come back with him in the robot mode then for some more comparisons. So very simply, let's take these off. Um, retract the landing gear pull that back bring this down bring this down fold the foot out and again carefully open up this hold the gray bit up and then slot the fists out like so and same thing here bring it round bring the fist out like so and there we go now before i put him with his target massings to be honest i like to display them in robot mode as well so i'm going to leave them there like so i'm going to bring my other spinister up and my other quake up obviously these guys have had updates as well i think quakes was power of the primes and spinister was obviously siege so that is your three small decepticon target masters that were released in 1988 and then you've got the larger ones i've got two of them as well to be fair I've got Slug Slinger. I nearly forgot his name then. There's so many. And Trigger Happy, who again, was it Power of the Primes or Titans Return? One of them anyway. Um, they had their updates and you can see straight away the size difference and indeed the difference in the size of the Target Masters. Uh, these Target Masters, though, were terrible because these clips used to always break. So you don't see many of these or many people transforming these for that reason. But there you go. That gives you an idea, I suppose, of how big he was compared to them. Now, for people who've never seen the G1, here we go. Here's a core class shockwave. He's not too far off him. Here's a deluxe class flame war. What else have I got here and around me? Not too much, actually. Let's see what else I can grab very quickly. This is just typically here because of obviously all what's going on with him at the moment. There's a G1 Desarus. Um, and in fact, funny enough, what else have I got? No, nope, that's literally it. So I've got a small shattered glass eject. So even the target masters were way smaller than them. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting. Um, I hope it helped you with, I suppose, a little bit of knowledge on who Needle Nose is. And indeed, hope it got you as excited as I am ready for the new update. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.